Here on Windows Server 8, I'm going to show you how to configure a DHCP server. Let's go ahead and open up our DHCP manager. We've already installed our DHCP server earlier. And we can see we have two different types of DHCP servers we can configure. One is version 4 and one is version 6. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do our version 4. So we're going to right click on there choose new scope and we'll just call it the test scope and we'll put our starting and ending IPs it can be anything in our block and our subnet mask is going to be a slash 8 we can change that if we want to and we can add exclusions so if we want to uh, have a particular server or something else that might be in our scope, maybe a printer, and we just want to make sure it's excluded, we can just go ahead and type that in. If it's one IP address, we can just type .15. If it's more, we can just go ahead and type all the way to the end of that exclusion. Our least duration by default is eight days. We'll go ahead and stick with that. That's before the next time the client has to do a renew. And we do want to configure the options, so we'll go ahead and click Next. Put in our gateway. That is our router, or firewall. And from here, this is our domain test.local. And by default, it puts in our DNS server. Did not used to do that in, in uh, 2008 or previous versions. So we'll go ahead and click Next. We don't have any Win servers, but if we did, we would type them in and click Add here. And the question is, do we want to activate the scope? We'll say yes, we do. And we'll click Finish.